Hello travelers, Kato is here, and today we're diving into the mysterious and highly anticipated Geo user Chiori. Finally, we have a glimpse into her potential gameplay. So is she worth your hard-earned primo gems? Let's dissect her kit, explore her synergies, and see if this hidden gem shines bright. As all of you know we got Chiori Drip marketing two weeks ago, and that confirms that she will be the new 5-star character of 4.5 version. Chiori is a sword user Geo character that has a very unique design, and when I say unique, I'm not talking about her cold gaze or that fancy shoes she's wearing. No, I'm talking about her ability to use twin swords, which gave her battle animations true beauty and elegance that no other character has. Chiori scales of both attack and defense, and based of what we know about her, her role is likely to be a Geo sub DPS unit, since her kit seems focused on dealing consistent damage rather than being the main damage dealer on the team, her elemental skill have so much in common with Kaching. She will perform a forward dash dealing Geo damage to enemies in her path, upon reaching the end of the dash, she summons a doll that deals AoE Geo damage periodically. If there is a Geo construct present near the doll, like Zhongli's pillars, then an additional doll will be summoned at the construct's location. This skill have press and hold variation, just like Kiching skill. If you hold the button you can control the dash direction, more than that, Chiori passive will add a twist on her skill, so if you perform the skill again after using it, it will switch characters. And every time the new on-field character performs an attack, the doll will unleash a coordinated attack every two seconds for a maximum of two times, and if we don't use the skill again, and follow up with her normal attack instead, then Chiori will gain 5 seconds Geo Infusion. Her elemental skill offers both mobility and off-field Geo damage, and its synergy with Geo Constructs requires you to use her with another Geo character who can use Constructs. For players who was waiting for Chiori to use her with Navia, we need Chiori C1 to do that. Since Navia can't use Constructs, C1 will allow us to summon the second doll with just the presence of another Geo character. And no need for Geo Constructs. Moving on to her elemental burst, Chiori will use her twin swords to slice a cloth, unleashing a powerful Geo shockwave that deals AoE Geo damage. This burst also scales of both attack and defense, just like her skill. I already mentioned Chiori first passive that provide different buffs after using her skill, and her second passive will boost her elemental skill damage by 20%. When a party member summon a Geo Construct, as for her third passive, she will increase team party members' speed by 10% whenever we use different outfits or gliders. Chiori offers unique mechanics, potent AoE damage, and the flexibility of both on-field and off-field contributions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!